Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna test some gear out. Um, I got my Z-Lite, Z-Pax, uh, or Thermarus Z-Lite. It's just a ground pad that I'm gonna use underneath my Nemo tensor. It's supposed to be, I think, a 4.2 R value. It's supposed to get down to negative three tonight. So um, we're gonna test a military sleep system tonight. And the um, reason I put it in my tent is because we're supposed to have some high winds and I wanted to test out this nature hike tent. It only cost me $100 for this tent. So we're gonna see if it's uh, good enough for money's worth. We're gonna see if we can get our money's worth out of it. Uh, like I said, it's supposed to be a negative three tonight and 20 mile an hour winds. So we're gonna test this um, military sleep system I got. This is the same one that I used when I was in the military. And um, it's supposed to get down to, it's rating with everything is um, supposed to be, uh, be able to get down to negative 50. So we're gonna see, and I'll show y'all a little bit more about it too. I'm gonna put these in here and then wait for it to get a little bit dark and then we'll climb in there and see what we can do. There we go, I got everything in there. Later on, we'll carry out the uh, mod modular sleep system. You know, the um, same one I used in the military. And uh, we're gonna see if we get a good night's sleep, to sleep or if we're uh, freezing to death. I know I'm freezing right now, so I'm excited. All right, guys, we're out here. As you can see, I got my military. Let me move this around here a little bit. Got my military sleeping bag system. And uh, so, we're going to see how cold it gets. It's already a negative 22 wind chill. So, uh, pretty chilly out here. I think it's three degrees, negative 3 degrees right now. Um, we'll see how cold it gets tonight. So, so far this thing's doing pretty good, but I just climbed in it. So, we won't really know what's going to happen until... We give a little bit so we're gonna go to sleep and try it out and we'll catch you in the morning and tell you how it did morning guys i have to say that the sleep system did awesome i'm nice and warm and cozy and it is negative three with a wind chill of negative 22. um I'll put a link to the sleep system in the description. The tent that I used was my cheap um, Nature Hike Vic 1 tent. The tent did great in the high winds. Um, the wind's not blowing as bad, I don't think, right now. I haven't got out. <laughs> but um, I hate to get out when it's this warm and toasty, but you know. I'm right here at the house. I didn't want to go far because I wanted to see how low I could go with this sleep system. Um, the Nemo Tensor um, sleeping pad, um, it, it, it did good, but um, I could see where somebody would want to hire our value. Uh, there, you know, it is, um, I won't say cold, but it's cool. The mat's cool right now, like sleeping on it. But um, nothing that's just major. It, I see why people would want a uh, one with a six or seven. You know, um, I'm sure it would do a lot better than this one. But um, all in all, this one did real good. Now we get to climb out of this bad boy. You can see where the frost got up under there. This is what I had under, over my face. I didn't want to get frostbite <laughs> so just climb out of it like a bear Ugh. the uh the black sleeping bag is the winter sleeping bag on this one they did real good I'm glad I come out here and tested it <laughs> All right, guys, it's a little bit day later in the day. I want to show you this tent. This is the Nature Hike Vic 1. It's really, really, really did good out here in this. Um, 
high winds and snow and stuff. I was really proud of it. I'm gonna show y'all this sleep mat real quick. I'm gonna bring it in anyway and air it down, let it dry out. If it's wet, not gonna do that. But you can see how much room is in there with that. That's a 25 inch wide pad, so you know, lots of good room in there. I still got some other stuff in there, but I want to get this in. I want to get this in the house before um, you know, whatever, let it dry or whatever it does. I needed about a um, six or seven R value. I think would have been real good. That's a 4.4. .4. Um, after about four hours, it started getting a little bit cool, like on the on the um, mat part, but nothing that wasn't unbearable. It was it was a really good experience. Um, I can attest for negative three with a negative 22 degree windshield and I was good so it will do that so thanks guys for coming along thank you bye